We all know how hard it is to win a league title and how easy it is to not win it. Being the best of over 18 clubs after playing every single team across 38 games is no mean feat. Then, there are those clubs who just pick the league title like it's a broom year after year. Even with changes in players, coaches, backroom staff, and presidents, some clubs cannot just stop winning. It is an addiction they always want. Several teams have achieved remarkable success by winning league titles consecutively, cementing their status as powerhouses in the football world. Welcome to Football Pro. In this video, we're going to talk about the teams that have won the most league titles in a row. This channel is dedicated to bringing you awesome, regular content in and around the beautiful game of football. Let's dive in! Juventus, nine times. The Biancaneri fell on hard times in the early 2000s after they were stripped of their titles and relegated to Serie B in the aftermath of the Calciopoli scandal. Loyal legends like Del Piero, Buffon, Nedved, and many other top players pushed the club back to the top tier. After a couple of years of struggle in the league, Juventus finally won the Scudetto in 2012. That season, Alessandro Del Piero finally ended his Juve career as a fulfilled man. But it was not enough. Antonio Conte lit a fire under the team, and the team picked up even more steam as they continued to dominate Italy. Their main strength was their brick wall of a defense, with the likes of Barzagli, Bonucci, and Cialini shutting down opponents left and right, and Buffon right behind them in goal. It was like trying to break into Fort Knox. Good luck with that. Juventus didn't just rely on their defense, though. They beefed up their midfield with signings like Paul Pogba and Arturo Vidal, injecting some serious skill and creativity into the team. And let's not forget about Carlos Tevez, who terrorized defenses with his blistering runs and deadly finishes. Even after Conte left the club in 2014, Juventus did not lose their hunger for glory. They faced some tough competition along the way, with Napoli, Roma, and AC Milan trying to rain on their parade. Under Max Allegri, players like Gianluigi Buffon, Andrea Pirlo, Carlos Tevez, and Alvaro Morata continued the Serie A dominance and achieved the double after winning the Coppa Italia in 2015. It wasn't all roses, though. Juve's treble dream was shattered after losing the UEFA Champions League final to Barcelona that year. New faces joined the club in the form of Dybala, Mandzukic, Higuain, and the club only got better dominating the league for another stretch of time. Sadly, the UEFA Champions League was a different tale. They made the final in 2017 and lost to Real Madrid in a 4-1 route. By the 2018-19 season, there were lots of new faces, including Cristiano Ronaldo, who propelled Juve to another title glory that year. But many of team's pillars were fading. The next season was a bit shaky for Juventus. Inter Milan showed some muscle and gave them a run for their money. But Juve didn't back down. They fought tooth and nail to clinch that ninth straight title. Talk about a grand finale! The following season saw a change in manager for the third consecutive season. Andrea Perlo was given his first job ever and managed to guide Juventus to a Coppa Italia triumph but couldn't retain the trophy for the tenth time. The old lady's reign had finally come to an end. But no football fan would ever forget how dominant that team was. They knew how to win and win and win. Juventus's nine-year run will forever be remembered as a golden age for the club. The old firm, nine times. In life, there is death, taxes, and an old firm club winning the Scottish Premiership. Celtic and Rangers have won 108 league titles between them, so you can see why most Scottish fans hate the Glasgow clubs. In fact, the last team to win the league, except either team, was Alex Ferguson's Aberdeen in 1985. Yeah, you heard that right. The league title does switch hands between Celtic and Rangers every couple years, but majority of this dominance came from long winning streaks. Celtic has won the nine Scottish Premiership titles in a row not just once, but twice. Back in the 60s and 70s, under the legendary manager Jock Stein, Celtic became an unstoppable force and picked up nine titles between 1966 and 1974. During that golden era, Celtic also became the first British team to win the European Cup after beating Inter Milan in the 1967 final. These guys were on fire. Fast forward to the 2010s, and Celtics never stopped dominating. They completed another sensational nine-year streak of Scottish Premiership titles between 2012 and 2020, with the revolving door of managers like Neil Lennon, Ronnie Dyla, Brendan Rodgers, and Lennon again. They kept their dominance alive. The Mad Lads even went unbeaten in the entire 2016-2017 season, completing all 47 league matches without a loss, and set a record 106 points while doing it. Whether it was the 60s or the 2010s, Celtics showed everyone that they were a force to be reckoned with. 
These guys knew how to dominate the pitch and keep their rivals at bay. Their incredible success is etched in Scottish football history, and it will be celebrated for years to come. Rangers successfully crashed the Celtics' 10-in-a-row party after Steven Jared led his men to their record 55th league title. But that was not the first time they got some sweet revenge. After being the butt of Celtic jokes in the 70s, Rangers went crazy in the late 80s and 90s. They bagged nine consecutive Scottish Premiership titles, from 1989 to 1997. It all started after Graham Souness took the helm as manager and led Rangers to their first league title in almost a decade. That victory changed the game for them and fueled them to knock Celtic off their perch and show who ruled Scottish football. After Souness, it was Walter Smith and his trusty sidekick Archie Knox that created a beast of a team with a solid defense, deadly attack, and a killer team spirit that brought them success year after year. One of the coolest parts of this era was the signing of big-name players. Rangers brought in stars like Mark Haightley, Brian Laudrup, and even Gaza. These guys took the rivalry with Celtic to another level as both teams tried to outdo each other both on and and off the pitch. Old firm derbies between Rangers and Celtic became the stuff of legends. These matches were intense, with tackles flying in left and right, and the atmosphere in the stadium was electric. It was a battle for bragging rights, and both teams left everything on the pitch. And it still is. Oh, by the way, a lot of hard work and care goes into these videos, so if you could help us out and click that lovely subscribe button, we'd greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, too. Olympiacos, 10 times. Olympiacos absolutely owned Greece in the late 90s and continued their dominance into the new millennium. They were an unstoppable force, racking up an astonishing number of consecutive titles. First, from 1997 to 2003, Olympiacos celebrated an impressive seven straight league titles. After a brief pause, they resumed their incredible streak from 2005 to 2009, claiming five more consecutive league trophies. It seemed like no other team stood a chance against Olympiacos during those years. And just when you thought their dominance couldn't get any more impressive, Olympiacos went on another tear. From 2011 to 2022, securing another round of 10 consecutive league titles, leaving everyone in the dust like that is just crazy. Talk about unstoppable. Bayern Munich, 11 times. Bayern Munich have been going on an absolute rampage in the Bundesliga. The Bavarians ended up as runners-up in every competition after the nightmare treble run of 2012. And you could say they took that personally. What followed? 11 straight consecutive titles from 2013 to 2023. It all kicked off in the 2012 to 2013 season when Jupp Heynckes took charge and led Bayern Munich to a jaw-dropping treble, winning the Bundesliga, DFB Pokal, and UEFA Champions League. Talk about setting the bar high right from the start. With Pep Guardiola taking the reins in the following seasons, Bayern Munich's style of play became a thing of beauty. Possession-based football, high pressing, and total domination on the pitch became their trademark. Plus, the squad has always been stacked with incredible players. Names like Arjen Robin, Frank Ribéry, Thomas Muller, Robert Lewandowski, and Manuel Neuer were like superheroes on the field. Even after these players declined or moved on, Bayern continued their run with a new generation of players like Musiala, Coman, Nabri, Sane, De Ligt, and many brilliant talents. Along the way, Bayern Munich smashed records left and right. In the 2014-2015 season, they clinched the title with an astonishing seven games remaining, breaking the record for the earliest title win ever. They were literally untouchable. One treble was not enough for the Bavarians. They claimed their second one under Hansi Flick and eventually won the Sextable that year. Their latest title was a combination of resilience, talent, and pure team spirit. Earlier in the season, it looked like Bayern won't continue their title streak. Fighting until the final day is usually a title race, especially when it is practically out of your hands. But Musiala's last-minute goal away at Köln was enough to prolong their golden era after Dortmund fumbled their two-point advantage. It's safe to say that Bayern Munich's reign in the Bundesliga will forever be etched in football history, and we can't see an end in sight. Bait Borisov 13 times The world was so different in 2006. I mean, we had baggy jeans, Beyonce, and even that Zidane thing happened. Jeez. Anyways, one thing has remained constant for most of the time. Bait Borisov's unstoppable reign in the Belarusian Premier League. They were like an immovable force, winning the league title for an incredible 13 seasons in a row until 2018. Year after year, they grabbed the Belarusian Premier League title and made it their own. And guess who became the luckiest man in world? Vitaly Rodionov. 
This lad enjoyed 12 glorious seasons within that time and became the first player ever to win as many consecutive league titles. He won his 13th title as the club's sporting director after retiring. Anyways, like all good things do, their incredible run eventually came to an end in 2018, when Dynamo Brest dethroned them. It marked the end of an era. But what an era it was! Thanks so much for sticking around until the end of the video, we hope you enjoyed it. But why stop now? Click this video right here for more awesome content!